In this video, I'm going to transform these tom drums into a coffee and side table. I will have a list of all the items that I use down below in the description box. But first, you see the different drums that I got. These are all tom drums, starting from 16 inches down to 13 and 12. I also have a cleaning solution down below, which is just vinegar and water, and a microfiber cleaning cloth. I got this piece of glass from the thrift store. I'm not sure of the size, but I found a similar one for the side table. And then I also got these adhesive stickers from Ace Hardware. Here you see the second piece of glass that I got as well as some E6000 glue that I got from Walmart and some glass cleaner to clean the um, glass tops. The vinegar I use to clean the drums off. And in this coffee table, you see the pads, the adhesives that I use. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I did the side table using the E6000 glue. First off, you wanna start by cleaning off the glass. Um, I did already clean the drums uh, because I made the coffee table in a separate video. So I may or may not add clips to that video in this one here. start by giving a good thorough clean of the glass on both sides and of course by touching it there is likely to be fingerprints but just get as much off as possible then I started by doing um, just one smooth little layer of glue around the brim of the smaller drum because I'm going to put the smaller drum on top of the larger drum. So the 12 inch drum is gonna go on top of the 13 inch drum. So this is my way of securing the two together so that they are sturdy and can be lifted and will not come apart. Here's a closer look at the glue and the amount that I used. You can see that it's not perfect, but I just put one layer on there so that the drums can um, be secure and adhere to each other. You wanna make sure that if your drums have a label that the two drums and their labels are aligned. So that's what you see me doing there, making sure that they're um, stacked on top of each other properly. And you're just gonna wanna put a little bit of weight or a lot of weight actually on the drums to make sure that the glue can cure. And um, I actually did end up leaving it overnight, about 24 hours or more, just so that it's really secure. Twenty-four hours later. Now what I'm doing here is measuring out just by eyeballing what seems to be the most central and equidistant location for the glass to sit. And this is a moment of truth, <laughs> applying the glue to the top of the drum so that the glass can be securely placed on the drum. And hopefully the goal is for it to not be able to move. You know, when it's all dried and cured in a little over 24 hours, the side table should be able to be lifted and not fall apart. So, like I said, I don't do this perfectly. I'm not applying it perfectly, but it's definitely here to do its job. E6000 glue is supposed to be extremely, extremely strong. So that's why I'm using it. As an aside, you see the black marks there on the drum. That was not able to come off after cleaning it. So if you want, you can actually switch out the different sides of the drum. Um, I did it on the coffee table. So the side that was really, really dirty, I put it on the bottom so that you'll never see it. As far as this smaller drum, both sides were <laughs> kind of stained. So this is a less stained side. So this is what we're rocking with. And I think it gives the table some character. 
So just like before, you wanna apply some pressure and some weight. And at the moment, these are all the things that I had, so that's what I used. And there you have it. I hope you like watching this transformation video. If you did, go ahead and give a thumbs up, comment down below, and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. Here are more DIY videos of mine, and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.